right, so we have a rainy day here and a day off. So I thought I'd get back to my kind of OG series in the last two years. Um, the uh, Castle Siege. Working some more on it. Wanted to update you guys and, and came out to do some things before I started recording again. And I see that I have pillagers. So I wanted to record the fight with the pillagers. So we're going to see, I guess, maybe how far we can get um, in the the kind of, I don't know, the raid. Is that what it's called? If they're even uh, here. Um, there's two more down there. Trident is much better. Okay, so I don't I don't think it actually started a raid. Uh, super interesting that they were even here though. Um, but I did get this, so I, I still don't know what that means. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to what I was doing, and then we'll come back and uh, I'll fill you guys all in. That's a super big bummer though. I thought we were gonna get a raid and have something kind of cool to start this episode off with. So, uh, oh well. Hey, what's up guys? We got a lot of big changes this episode. It's been a while since we've recorded <clears throat> Castle Siege and the first thing you can see is we've got some skeletal horses. So that actually happened last night and it was super sick how it happened. Um, I was just kind of chilling out here and uh, there was a, a skeletal horse like right here and I was like, no way. Uh, let me get a lead and like, I don't know, trap it. And so as I was coming towards it with a lead, a bolt of lightning literally came out of the sky and just struck this horse. And I've never seen one of these before, but I guess it's kind of the normal game mechanics. And like four more popped out of that one and they were all, uh, had skeletons riding them with bows and arrows. And I was like, no way. And so I killed the skeletons on top and then trapped as many skeletal horses as I could. So I've got three of them and uh, I got a saddle on one and I got plenty of saddles for the others. I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet, but I'm definitely going to make a stable in our castle here because that's just freaking sick skeletal horses. So they're not the best horses. They're not as good as Blackjack, my other horse. You can't put armor on them, and they don't have a lot of health, and I doubt they're fast, and I doubt they can jump high, but they're pretty sick nonetheless. So definitely going to keep those. Another thing that happened, and uh, definitely the worst thing, is we had a raid on the village. I didn't have time to record it. It just sort of happened. Um, and I was able to defeat the raid, so that's pretty sick. It was the first raid I've ever defeated. Um, took a little while, and my Iron Golems really helped out, so I kind of figured that that was the, the best use for Iron Golems. Uh, I lost all my Iron Golems, but sadly, the raiders killed all of my villagers. Literally every one of them is dead, which is so sad because I had gotten them to, I don't know, the highest level you could get your villagers for trading. Not that I use them all that often, but that just really sucks. So I obviously don't want this village to be uh, empty and useless, so I'm going to have to grab some villagers from elsewhere. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, and I'm going to bring them back individually. And so we'll do that probably as we finish up with the castle and kind of develop some of the either land inside of the castle or uh, in the surrounding areas, kind of like we have here. So more to follow on that. And then the third thing that happened is I took a look at my castle, and the middle archway between the two kind of entryway towers was really weak if you remember it. I don't have an old picture of it unfortunately but it was just kind of like one single wooden uh, bridge or line right there and it looked really lame and so I went ahead and kind of designed this beefy uh, I don't know archway in the middle and so let me know what you think about it in the comments. I kind of went with a, a no wood design um, just added the kind of accent bit of oak logs at the top there. Let me know what you think though. Uh, I really do like it kind of overall, and I think it, it adds a lot to the, the castle arch entryway there, and so we're going to keep it that way for now. I might add some kind of wooden fence posts underneath there to give it like a, uh, I don't know, like a, like a gate effect, um, and then I finished my tower right there, so that's pretty great, um, and so we've got one front wall complete now, um, and yeah, and we're going to finish with the, the side walls. Uh, in the next few episodes and then we can start building the kind of center castle which is where I'll actually put my kind of like home. Um, some other things that we've done recently is, uh, man how do I start this because it's such a, a big explanation, it's really the focus of this episode and then so much else happened and I got motivated that 
Now it's just like a small piece, but as you can see, I'm going down into a mine that wasn't there before, so that's going to be a tower that I just entered through, and it's going to be like my mining tower, and so the reason I did this is because, unbeknownst to me, I just found this out yesterday, can you tell what this is? These are my strip mines from all the way back down there in the little bit, the little village that I had, um, and the mine going down there. So my strip mines came all the way out to my castle, which is really what I didn't want to happen. Uh, I had really avoided doing strip mines out in this direction because I didn't want them to come underneath the castle. Just like coincidentally, they stop right here, right at the edge, which is really good uh, and coincidental. But to kind of alleviate that, what I've done here, let's go through the nether portal and you can see we come out to my nether kind of hub that i've started so out that way is my end portal and then out this way kill that guy real quick what, what the heck? well i need that yeah this is like a really good area because i've got uh wow that went so wrong so quick um i've got a wither spawner right there there's another one right behind me actually so we're just gonna come down here and then i'll fight him off um, he's way up there. Did I get him? No. Okay, I missed him. That's alright. So anyways, you come down here, and I came down as low as I could in the nether, and I had to mine through a lot of magma block and even some lava to get this tunnel to be real straight. So that took me a couple hours one day. Um, not a couple hours. I don't know, 30, 45 minutes. Uh, but it's kind of really hard to, to get a level path through lava. And so that was interesting. Didn't die in the lava, I don't think. Uh, I had all my tools on me, so that's really good that, you know, I didn't. Um, but you come here through another portal, and I have no idea how far out it's gone into the world. I didn't calculate that. But I wanted kind of another place to mine where I could just do strip mines and not worry about the damage that it had on the rest of the uh, world. And so come this way and come through a little ravine and I've got some strip mines going here. So interestingly enough, I've done about, I don't know, 10, 12 tunnels. Um, and I started them at Y level 16, as you can see right here. Uh, but I kind of do this thing where I chase the ore. So if I'm in um, one of these upper level strip mines here and then I see some iron or coal on the ground, I'll mine it all the way down and see how far I can go. And so doing that twice, I came down to about Y level 12, as you can see, and I found diamonds. And so I thought, man, I don't know where I thought level 16 was the level where you get uh, diamonds. But then I came down here and started mining at Y level 12, and I found a lot more diamonds. So I think that's the Y level I need to be at, and so that's where I'll do my strip mining. But this is kind of the strip mining area, so yeah, that's the new plan. I'll show you what I've gathered. I'll come back to you when I'm in the... Uh, the tower where I've got my kind of temporary storage so give me just one okay so we're back and we're coming through the portal here into my little mining tower or the base of it um, and this is kind of how I've sorted my ore for now so I uh, obviously started my coal chest nothing in this one and then this one here check that out alright lots of iron gold whatever but the diamond that's probably close to what I had already over the past months of mining at Y level 16 around here around the castle and so I think that's a pretty, uh, what's, what's the word? Um, I'm totally blanking on the word, uh, plethora. I don't know. No, that's not the right word. Anyways, there's a lot of diamond out there. So I'm going to keep diamond out there, uh, mining out there so I can get diamond. And that's kind of it. And the next thing I want to do is search for netherite. That's a new addition to the game that I really don't know much about, but I do know you find it in the nether in lava lakes. And so that's going to require some brewing and anti, I don't know, flammable uh, potions and things like that. So we're going to get started on that today. But the first thing I want to do with you guys today is enchant. So I'm going to get to my enchanting table and I'll cut back in. Okay, so as you guys could tell, I've got 82 levels here, I spent some time at the Ender Farm, and I got my levels way up. Um, I died during that raid quite a few times, unfortunately, and I had like 70-something, I don't know, 80 levels built up, and so uh, I obviously wanted to do that for enchanting, but I lost them all, so I went back and got some more levels. More to follow on the end, by the way, I found another thing we can do out there that I'm pretty excited about, and so we're going to give that a try some other episode. It's going to be a big episode exploring in cities for shulker boxes and to get my Elantra wings. Uh, but what I want right now is a book of mending because this trident, I freaking love it. And uh, I use it all the time, probably more than my sword. It's got loyalty, so it comes back to me after I throw it like a boomerang. 
Uh, but the problem is that it's really hard to get tridents, and so I can't just throw it in an anvil with a uh, regular trident to build it back up to its durability, but mending will do that. And I kind of want mending on all of my gear and all of my tools, but specifically this trident. So I've got 22 books, a lot of levels, a lot of lapis, and we're just going to sit here and enchant until we find a mending book. And I'm going to do it until I find a mending book. So first one's first. Let's see what we get. Oh, it does cost 30 levels. No, no, I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. It costs three. Okay, what do we get? Protection three and lore two. All right, I'm literally just going to run through this, and I'm not going to make you wait until I get a mending book. Okay, well, thankfully, uh, we have Minecraft Wiki, and I was smart enough to maybe Google it before I spent any more time enchanting books, getting levels, etc. So you actually can't get a mending book from an enchantment table. Um, it's considered like a, a treasure enchantment, so you can only get it through like finding chests at a woodland mansion, at a desert temple, etc. Uh, that's going to take forever, but you can also get it by fishing. And so ideally I would have a luck of the C3 rod to do this with, but I only have two. Um, but I have two of them, and so I'm just going to sit here and fish until I find one. Alright, and after some serious soul searching, uh, I've got my Unbreaking Lore 3 Luck of the Sea 3 rod. And uh, I'm just going to get back to it with my Unbreaking 3 rod, so hopefully we don't have to go back and repair it nearly as quickly as we did last time. See if we get anything good. I think this guy spawned out of where I... Uh, I threw my ender pearl, but um, still no, still no book of mending. However, we did get this sick bow, power four, flame mending, and unbreaking three. So that's pretty sick. I don't really use bows, but uh, good to know I've got a pretty dope one if I do. All right. Well, I've probably collectively spent like an hour fishing, and I'm still not done. Uh, I'm done for now. I'll get back to it later. I've got some other things I want to take care of. This is kind of all that I've collected, minus a few things like all my saddles. I went and put back the name tags, but I got like more saddles than I'll ever, ever use. So that's a tidbit if you need saddles, just go fishing. Uh, I got a really good fishing rod, mending, and I'm breaking three. So I'm going to go try to repair that as I get some more levels and then combine it with this guy here. Hopefully I'll have literally the ultimate fishing rod and I can just keep at this. So I'll get back to you when I'm at the end. Okay, so we're back and I've got all of the XP that I should need to do this. So let's see if we can make it happen. Too expensive. Okay, try it again. Too expensive. So I was kind of worried about that, that I think because of Unbreaking 3 and this one having Unbreaking 3 that I won't be able to make them put them together so that's pretty unfortunate so now that i'm done with that i'm going to work a little bit more on the uh, side of this this build so i guess i'm going to start going that way with it um and we'll see how far we get and then i'm going to try to add a bridge here not a bridge a gate okay so that's sort of what i'm looking at for a gate i do like it i still want to put something in there but i don't like how it's it's gonna sit, so let me try some wrought iron gates. All right, so that's kind of what we're looking at for the entrance here. Uh, I put some of the ominous banners around. I think that looks pretty sick. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see, maybe it's too many. Let me know what you think about the overall look of the entrance here as I get started on the sides. Maybe we'll change it up next episode, but drop a comment, let me know how you think. Like, look at this, I'm not doing anything. And they just show up, they just show up their little raiding party to take everything I have left. I think though it's not a raid, but that little symbol that I got in the bottom or top right means that they, they will be here. Like, this is starting a raid. Oh, come on. Really need that mending book, though, I'll tell you that much. Do I have any? Yeah, I do have blocks. All right, so that does it for that section of the wall. Um, right there in the middle point, as you can see, I put some blocks. I'm going to make a 3x3 three three little archway to walk through. It's the center point of what I've determined to be the wall because that's the other uh, tower that's going to be there. 
And so at that point, I can kind of enter in from all four sides without having to make like some big crazy gate like that on all four sides, which I don't believe I want to do. I want to leave that as the kind of sole entrance. And so I'm going to go ahead and make that little archway and then finish off the wall. Uh, and then we'll do the same on that side and for the back side. I think it's just going to be the same thing. I don't think I want any more big walls like this or big, uh, big towers. Um, I think that would look pretty dope on all four sides, but maybe just not the look I'm going for. I could always change it in the future. Um, actually, why don't you guys let me know in the comments since I probably won't uh, finish the rest of that wall today. So let me know if you think that we should add that. Uh, it'll shorten up the walls by quite a bit though, so we'll only have like that size of a section instead of this long section that we've got there. Um, I think it could go either way. I think it could look great either way. So. Uh, let me know. Maybe it's worth the effort, and then uh, it would kind of look like much, much beefier, beefier castle wall. I'm actually kind of liking it as I talk about it. So, let me know what you think in the comments. But that's that section of the wall there, and then uh, the rest will be built out. So, stay tuned for that mini book because I'm not giving up on it yet. What's up? Uh, all I can say is welcome to the multiverse. Uh, it's super late here. And I'm in the middle of recording this episode throughout like the past week and I saw a YouTube video that was like, hey, 28 cool things you should try in Minecraft. And I was like following one of those suggestions, an easy way to find diamonds to see if there was any merit to it. And I'm mining straight down right near the castle and I end up in this place at Y level negative 41. So I don't know how I missed this as part of the game came out in Caves and Cliffs Update Part 1. This is like a new biome underneath Y0, and I thought it stopped at Y0. So I'm mining down, and I hit this stuff, and I'm like, what the hell is that? Like, that looks like where bedrock should be, and what's going to happen if I mine through it? Come to find out, it's called Deep Slate. It's like this whole new biome, and I've, I've been exploring it, and... Uh, I've got no words, except that there's a new block in the game that I actually really like. I love this texture, and kind of wish I had known about it to use on the castle, and will use on the castle. Um, and that I've got a ton of it, like, very easily accessible to me now. I mean, this, this biome, I've explored it for like the past 20 minutes probably, and it just, it keeps going, and I think you can see I popped out right there yeah this is nuts 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 so a lot of you guys probably already knew about this but i'm like blown away i really feel like i'm in the multiverse like this is a whole new world to me and it's surprising that it's underneath my castle because uh i didn't think i had started this world in 1.17 and i don't think i did but i guess by the time i moved out here it was 1.17 and so uh it generated all of this but I don't want to take up too much time with this clip, but I'm just like blown away and I'm really excited to use this this block and we'll see where it goes. What are these guys after, man? Like, they're just fearless. I mean, there's my castle and these guys are just chilling on the riverbanks. What is going on? I, I don't even know where there's like a pillager stronghold nearby there we go i got the omen so i think if i get that omen now if i go into the village it'll start a raid uh, i don't want that thing. so um cool so i was right with the um i don't know marker on my person when i enter the village i'll get a raid um, unfortunately, I've got literally zero desire to deal with the raid right now, and I don't even have any villagers, so we're just gonna ignore that. So, like, overall, my life is comical, right? I, um, I spent probably collectively two hours fishing for a book, uh, 30 to 45 minutes getting enough enchantments to enchant, like, 40 books, something crazy like that, and then I remembered... That I've got a village not very far from my uh, base at all, which all these villagers are going to end up in uh, in the castle. So uh, stay tuned for that on like a completely different episode months down the line. But 
This guy, librarian, check this out. I just run over here intending. I brought like 64 emeralds because I was like, I'm going to have to trade with this guy forever to even get the possibility of getting a mending book. Look at this. His first trade. He's not like leveled up. Never done a trade with this guy. He's a novice. And he, I'm mending. <laughs> what a joke. So I need to get a book. Um... And then I'll be back and I'm gonna get my mini book. So this is freaking dope. It was like not even five minutes for me to run back. Uh, I know I got blackjack here, my super fast horse, but it, the village is super, super close. Like if I had to build a railway to get all these villagers in, I don't think it would that be, be that big of a deal, um, which is huge because I think that's the way I have to do it. I don't think I can attach a lead to, <laughs> to villagers. Uh, as unfortunate as that is. So let's find the librarian and finally get my mending book. And that's like a great way to end this episode because that's kind of what it started with, right? Um, so uh, the only bad part is now that I don't know where my... There he is! My librarian went. Um, and yeah, he's mine now because this village is going to be mine. As <laughs> soon as I uh, finish the castle. So excuse me. Sir, I'd like to do some business with you. Uh, yeah, it's expensive. It's a lot of emeralds, but, like, too easy. I get my freaking mending book, and now I can put it on my trident. And I'm just super pumped. So um, what I'm probably going to do, because... No! <laughs> get back in there! I don't want this guy to... I don't want anything to happen to him. Uh, this is maybe cruel and unusual, but I don't want anything to happen with him because it's probably one of the best assets in this game. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna go <laughs> and hope that this village doesn't rebel against me. I swear I'll, I'll protect you from any raids that happen, uh, once I move you into my castle. So, see you in a sec. And since we're on the topic of, uh, cruelty, <laughs> I trapped our last remaining pillager because I don't want to deal with this raid right now. And I don't think there's any way to end a raid without... Um, actually, I don't know how you end a raid, but I, I don't want to fight with them right now because I think, and I could be totally wrong here, <laughs> I, I think if, like, I've already defended this town from a raid before, right? And one, I thought that meant they wouldn't come back. Wrong. Two, the first wave, so this, this raid, this is the first uh, wave of them, they came with, like, the, the typical level four or five bosses that I've seen. I'm calling them boss, mobs. Uh, like the axe guy and... I don't know. I, it, it just felt like a, like a beefier raid. And so I, I don't want to see <laughs> if I'm right and like even harder stuff shows up. So we're just going to keep them there. And I, I don't know what to do about it right now. But that's one cruelty I think we're all okay with. Okay, and a super fitting way I think to end this episode because it's been probably my best episode of Castle Siege. Uh, I'm being a little hubris there and saying that. But I got a lot of content for you guys, right? It started with me telling you about this mine that I, I dug, this kind of interdimensional mine, as I like to call it. Uh, call it. <clears throat> and then we worked a ton on the castle, um, which I'm about to show even more progress. And then we went to trying to get an, a mending book and enchanting books and fishing and, you know, XYZ, you name it. I've done a lot. And uh, I just want to show you in, in the deep slate, the multiverse. Like, come on, we've done so much. And so I just want to show you guys where I've let off with uh, with the build. Um, I'm, I'm really pumped and I kind of want to just keep grinding at it and keep working on it because I think we're in a really good place to, to finish quickly um, and move the village into uh, into the castle. So uh, as you can as you can see, you've already seen this before, but I'm just kind of showing you again. Um, we've got the front face of the castle, which, which got a major upgrade this episode. Again, tell me in the comments what you thought about it. <clears throat> I'm super happy with it. I think it looks so much better and it just it looks a lot more like a castle front now than it did previously so that was kind of a stroke of genius i'll call it i'm really happy with it so let me know what you think in the comments and then let's put this guy down here um get my mini book can't lose that that's like super important let's go ahead and, there we go okay uh we got our skeletal horses that was another thing that happened this episode crazy right uh, I forgot about them completely, but we got three of those bad boys now. Definitely going to get a stable inside the castle here because that's just, like, sweet. They sound awesome, too. Um, so, yeah, anyways, look at how much I've gotten accomplished uh, while in between cuts here. I finished a complete sidewall, uh, each of the corner towers, and I've got the, the foundation for the rest of the walls laid out. 
And the biggest project I did was I terraformed uh, the inside of the castle here. If you can remember, it was very uh, hilly and, and there were lots of dips and cuts in the in the ground. And I, I filled them in. I didn't just cover the top layer with dirt. I filled all the way down four or five blocks in some areas uh, up to we, so we could have a, a flat, solid surface. Um so I don't know if you guys will agree with me terraforming and making this flat. There, there's something to be said about having a natural um, kind of de- uh, you know climb and, and recess to the to the terrain, um, which I can still do. I think I'm I'm decent at terraforming. So let me know your opinions on that. But hopefully by the, the start of the next episode, I'll have these kind of walls finished. Uh, I'm not going to do a grand entrance there, but I measured the distance wrong, so it's not quite equidistant on each of the four sides, and so I couldn't have a 3x3 three three entrance like that I needed. I think that's a 5x5, five five, which is close to what this is here. So uh, just let me know what you think overall. Uh, like I said, we've done a lot this episode, you know, versus my previous episodes where they were, they were much uh, kind of shorter, and we just focused on like one project, like maybe the wall or maybe the enchantment, X, Y, Z. Um, yeah, I, I'm just like talking too much. But let me know if, if you like this kind of, you know, longer episode with, with less maybe constant comp- content, but more cuts with uh, progress being made. So let me know. But as always, guys, as it gets nighttime here, and I'm going to go throw this enchantment on this uh, trident. Hopefully we can, we can get it. Um... Thanks for watching. It means a lot to have your support, and I enjoy making content for you guys. And and I tried something new today, so please like, subscribe, and comment what you thought below. But that's it for today. You guys have a great day. Stro is there. Okay, I just like <laughs> send you guys out without showing you probably the most important part of this episode. Can we even do this? And we can. It only costs four to put mending on this freaking trident, which is six. So we got an unbreaking three, loyalty three, and paling five mending um trident and so i think we should name it i'm not going to put the book on the trident yet drop in the comments what you think it should be named uh the most like comment or the only comment because that's very likely too is what it'll be named so uh anything is game as long as it's pg because i like my content to be pg but drop it down in the comments and again thanks guys so much for watching this has been surlist